Hey everybody. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> passport bros. I tell you, I have like videos lined up and then something comes up and it throws everything off as planned. So, as you saw in the video, a quick reminder. Brazilian women are easy to get. We talked to him today. Austin, what kind of damn trouble did you get yourself into with these Brazilian women? Uh, well, actually, I wasn't trying to start any trouble. I actually thought I was doing a lot of promoting. Um, but apparently some things were lost. Some things were purposely lost in translation on purpose. Um, and then it, it's led to death threats, you know, and I was already on my way to Thailand anyway. I was going to be in Sao Paulo for about a week. Uh, but based off the way how things were going, I just said, you know what? I probably ought to head out three or four days earlier. So. <laughs> You want to head out? You wait a second, but you're like the most desirable, right? You want to head out? It's getting a little hot. Oh, it's getting a little hot. Why is that? The dysfunction that works and that is acceptable in Blackistan doesn't work with the rest of the land. It, it just it, it doesn't. And I thought about it. So he said or asked a question that the Brazilian women were easier to get. And what did it lead to? Death threats. Oh, the world is watching. It led to death threats, getting a little hot up under the collar. And you want to go ahead and decide, yeah, I think I better go ahead and hit the Thailand a little bit earlier. Oh, but I thought everybody love it. Everybody love it. No, they don't. Everybody love it. Everybody love it. No, they won't. That's what he said. Ask the question. Are they easier to get? Or pretty much saying, you know, as some may have interpret that they're easier to get. And everybody knows what the past promos, what they're all about. We've heard about them also creating baby mamas over there. There are reports on that that I've heard. So stop and think. By even posing the question of uh, that ideology alone, it resorted to what? Death threats. Death threats. Huh. It resorted to what? Death threats. That shows you the respect that those people have about their culture. You cannot disrespect the women of a culture and say, oh, I respect my culture, but I disrespect the women. You have to be an idiot. Now, it then reminds me, think of the things that they say about black women. Think of the things that they say about black women. If they said that about other women of any culture, again, he got death threats. Are they easy to get? Maybe it's, you know, assuming that, that they are easier to get. That, that's what he said. And it equated to death threats so much so it got his little chocolate drop body, obviously concerned about his safety. He ran a hot tail up out of her. That's what he said. Look what they say about black women. That's how you know the I'm sorry, the culture collectively is in the gutter. No other group of men murder the women at the rate that we do, and this, this group does. They talk about how the women's look. Uh, they looking like you, if not better, but the, this is what you come from. This is crazy. Too fat. I ain't working out. And then you'll see them. He'll be working out and end up with a, a non-black woman. That chick may weigh 350 on her best day of dieting. 350 on her best day of dieting. How tall is she? 5'2". Ooh, girl. Seriously. They'll go pick up a well that the white man doesn't want. Pick up under the floorboards. Billy's sister, the white man, don't even want. You get to pick up the trash. Scraping the bottom floor at the, at the very bottom. Talk about the women 
weave. Then you look up. Now they got a, oh, he got a unit. It's a weave. The disparaging remarks that they make about the women in the group, the children. That's why I don't understand black women. You still dealing with one of these. Oh, my gosh. Good luck. I'm going to pray for you, baby. So just think, the things that they say about black women, imagine if they said that about other groups of, of, of women. He didn't talk about their weight, not, and everybody's not saying the women come in different beautiful sizes. He didn't talk about their weight. You can be beautiful size 22, and you can be um, not so at size 6. We come in different sizes. The inner beautiful be beauty. You can have a beautiful face, just a nasty attitude, girl, bye. So he didn't talk about their sizes, their hairstyle, or their dating decisions. He pretty much is posing a question or a statement, rather, as some perceive it, to say, hey, that they're easier to get. He's like, hey, the, the video had a question. But some are perceiving it, obviously, to say, hey, that they're easier to get. And we already know that's, the, I mean, basically, they pretty much have said that. Oh, let's deal with it. Let's problematic. You're the problem in the U.S. The most troubled man in the U.S., I'm sorry to tell you, is the black man. And some, if it's a black man to do something positive, oh, wow, they, they, they might murk him. You are the number one killer of you. The number one killer of your women. So just stop and think. He just made he made that statement about the Brazilian women and got death threats. The world is watching and it's, you look at the contrast, it's, it's, it's disturbing. These are the same men, black men, when a black woman is killed or murdered, they'll be applauding it. Oh, they'll be applauding it. You say we're done every 5.5 hours or every 4.8. Oh, let's speed that number up. Yeah, the cops are speeding it up on you. They might speed it up on you. No other group of men would do that because no other group of men, I'm sorry to tell you, collectively are so conquered. You know you're conquered when you validate the very person that can bring you is that can continue your existence or stop it. You know you are so conquered when it's getting to a point that you really hate you. You you celebrate the murking of black women. Oh, gee, yeah. They say you don't need no man. Well, most of them got you. They don't know what it's like to really have a man. Most of them got a typical Tyrone. Doesn't know what it's like to have a man. His mama raised him. Probably had him by some little performing dust bucket. And you do what you do. Dusty's been drama and Paris been trauma. The financial implications is too much dust in the nation. This here, I'm glad he did that video. Because it goes to show you, look at the contrast in all the cultures. There's no other group of men behave the way this group does. Because you're at the bottom of the barrel, conquered. And when your mind has been conquered and you, oh my gosh. It's, it's a wrap for you. No other group of men acts this way. So what happens is you take this uh, idiosyncratic behavior in black stand that is acceptable, that is praised every day, and you want to go out into the world with it. And they done checked you, boo. They checked you. You're not going to bring that mess over there. Well, I've said it before, said it again. Wherever they go, it's bound to be a C-H-I-T chit show. Gu guaranteed. So they have power checks. You're not going to start all that mess over there uh, about their women. And everybody knows what you do. Sit up there and, oh, my, they got some children. The next thing you know, she's a baby mama on the system. Somebody has got to pitch in and take care of your responsibility. Passport, bro. Well, guess what? The Bra Brazilian women, that culture, they're letting you know that your ideology is a no-go, bro.
But in this community, you can talk trash about the women. Oh, they, they love it. They love it. They'll praise it. You can talk about women being murdered. They love it. They praise it. Maybe that's why things are so hard for you. Maybe that's why. Maybe it is your karma. So this here, it speaks volumes. Look in all the other cultures. No one else tries to talk theirs down and bring theirs down than this on the screen. That's why I've been saying it before. I've been saying it. A black man, what? Work for the clan. And the fool ain't even getting paid. And the same thing you wish upon the women, they not only wish upon you, it's what they'll do to you. Stupid. But you know, they, they power checked you. That blacker stand ideology. Oh, they get over, get over there. These women, man, these women. I wish they go over there and stay over there. Don't, don't come back into the country. Stay. But they'll let you know. Other groups, they're not going to have you sitting up here disparaging them. They obviously don't have uh, the number of men maybe that, that we do. They're not going to sit up and have you disparaging the women, even any kind of indication they're not having it. He got death threats. Oh, so he really thought, in my opinion, you must have thought well, the tackiness that works in black and the self-hatred is going to take place all over the land. Everybody's on to you. Everybody's on to you. They know what you do. So this, I applaud it. I'm glad people know this is what they do. But guess what? The rest of the world, they're not checking for you, boo. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'm out.